This morning, holding signs with bold statements like stop greed for power, stop with the witch hunting now, and Miss Yoli equals good management, about 25 account holders at the LICU demonstrated to demand an explanation from the board. Almost two months ago, GM Yolanda Gomez was placed on administrative leave, and all that these stakeholders have heard since then are unofficial rumors, but no official clarification of anything. We have heard through here saying, not officially, that the uh, central bank came and added the, the place. We don't know what's going on. We heard that central bank has finished their added and that they have, heard, that they have hired an external added uh, firm to do continue doing editing. We don't know what's going on. So that the main concern of, of this group here is to let the managing director comes out and tell us what's happening at the Great Union. We are shareholders, owners of this place and we need answers to what's going on. For some of these protesters, it's not about protecting GM Yolanda Gomez or standing up for her. It's about getting answers because they have money in the LICU and rumors of those audits have raised concerns about the security of those finances. My philosophy is if you, if you have a sin, pay for your sins. And if you're innocent, you're innocent, right? That's my philosophy. So if, 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 if Ms. Gomez have anything to answer, let her answer for it, right? And, you know, let, get, let get this thing going. Don't, don't, don't keep us in the dark. We need to know what's going on. If there's a money scam, let us know. We need to know it's our money. On May 8th, the board of directors issued a press release a week after the fact, stating that Yolanda Gomez was being placed on administrative leave pending an investigation. Since then, an AGM scheduled for June 6th was postponed until an unspecified date. And that's just not cutting it for these longtime members of the union. They have postponed it and they have not given us no reason why. They, according to them, auditing is taking place at the Macarada Credit Union. It is two months. I mean, two months is too much for auditing to, to, to be taking place. And then Ms. Yoli has not been charged with nothing. She has not been informed why she is out. She is just put on administrative leave. We as owner, we have the right to know what's going on. It's our Credit Union. For some of these persons protesting today, it is about loyalty to a woman who has been with the Credit Union for 24 years. They say under her stewardship, the LICU grew from assets of $1 million to more than $50 million. They are upset that her name is being smeared without any proof being provided. There's a lot of negative rumors going around, spreading from the board, from members within the credit union, that Miss Yoli stole money. Where is the proof? You know, you cannot accuse people if you don't have your facts together. We cannot do that. We are Orange Akenius, we are members, we are people that unite for, for good. Miss Yoli gave up 24 years of her life in that credit union. I saw that credit union grow. And for them, board members, to do that to her is totally unfair. We need to stand up and remove these people that are causing damage to the credit union, making the reputation of the credit union go down. There are many people leaving this institution at this moment, closing their account while we worked so hard when I was there with Miss Yolis. It's, it's so sad. It's so sad. People are leaving. The banks are rejoicing because people are leaving. Come on, board members. Think of the damage you have done not only to Miss Yoli but to us the members to all of us our homes think about that there was nobody available at the credit union to respond today but this small group of shareholders says they will not give up their demands for an explanation Mike Rodon 